uh, nada de descansos, nada de break. En la costura hay muchos, uh, mucha explotación, mucho uh, robo de salario. Throughout the course of the pandemic, we've heard a lot of talk about essential workers, like medical staff and grocery employees. But you may not be hearing as much about garment workers. Aside from working tirelessly to make the clothes on our backs, they're also the ones making those face masks that are so essential to our health. California is home to the highest concentration of garment industry workers in the country. But most garment workers don't even make minimum wage. Tienes que trabajar muchos, muchas horas para que ganas unos 250, 300, pero tienes que trabajar como unos 60, 65 horas. That's partly because of how garment workers are paid, not by the hour, but by the piece. For instance, a worker tasked with sewing tags onto shirts might be paid around three cents per tag. So workers can work long days stitching hundreds or even thousands of tags and still end up making an average of five or six dollars per hour, which is less than half of California's $13 minimum wage for large businesses. This piece rate pay system is an example of what labor activists would call wage theft. When a worker provides their labor and is not provided the local minimum wage or is not provided the overtime rate for their extra hours or is not provided um, um, extra pay for the meal break they were made to work through, we consider that a theft of labor. Unfortunately, in the garment industry, um, both in the U.S. and around the world, it's very common for workers' wages to be stolen from them. They're simply not paid the full extent of the legal wages that they're owed. You know, workers have been fighting for decades. That fight has made its way up from L.A. to Sacramento. This is a, a, an issue about wages, but it's about wage theft. It's about their working conditions. It's about the lack of uh, liability that there is with these companies above them all. And frankly, I think most of them should know that these working conditions are so bad because they know what they pay for each garment. Si no faltamos un día por nuestros hijos o agarraríamos unos 15 minutos de break o algo porque de eso por ahora nada, pues incluso no te dan los 30 minutos para comer, nomás come cuando pues ya apurado para el, por el patrón. After hearing from garment workers in Los Angeles, California State Senator Maria Durazo drafted a bill that would eliminate the peace pay system for garment workers. That bill ultimately failed to come to a vote, leaving the peace pay system unchanged. In a letter submitted to the California State Assembly, multiple business groups argued that getting rid of peace rates could hurt the industry, with the California Chamber of Commerce calling the bill a job killer. The Chamber of Commerce told NBC News that current law already ensures the minimum wage, and these policy changes could have driven the apparel industry out of California. But Senator Durazo doesn't think that that should influence the law. Well, I don't think an industry should exist if it does so on the backs of stealing workers' wages. They are now the essential workers making our masks, still making the kinds of things that we all rely on, um, and they don't get the protections that they need for themselves and their families. A 2015 survey of more than 300 garment workers found that many of LA's garment factories are dusty, hot, have poor ventilation, blocked exits, and are damaging to workers' health. Of course, that was long before there was a global pandemic. In fact, LA County's largest recorded outbreak of the coronavirus was at a garment factory, operated by the clothing company LA Apparel. That factory was temporarily shut down in June after 375 workers tested positive for the virus and four of them died. LA Apparel is one of the few companies that does pay its workers more than the minimum hourly wage. In a statement to NBC News, the company said that it implemented a rigorous safety protocol during the COVID-19 pandemic that exceeded state and county requirements. So this pandemic is, makes it even more important, even more important for these garment workers uh, to get what they deserve financially uh, with wages, but also the working conditions and because they're risking themselves for us.
Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.